Starbucks announcing it's taking an equity stake in restaurant tech company Brightloom, formerly known as Itza. Now, as a part of this deal, Starbucks will receive a seat on the company's board in exchange for giving Brightloom the opportunity to license some of its software. Financial terms of this deal were not disclosed. Now, the partnership will see Brightloom provide software solutions for global Starbucks licensed partners, which are essentially like franchisees, along with other restaurant companies. This is key because out of 80 global markets, less than half actually have access to Starbucks mobile app and only eight have mobile order and pay. It's been big in the U.S. 40 percent of transactions come from its rewards program, which has about 17 million members and a growing base in China. Starbucks will continue to drive software development digitally in its company operated stores. Now, mobile order and pay as well as online delivery, we all know those are key drivers at all of these restaurant companies. Data from Deloitte show that customers who order online actually increase their spending by 20 percent. So this is not just Starbucks. This is McDonald's. This is Chipotle. All of these players with mobile order and pay digital offerings, you wind up spending more because you're on the app. It's easier to do. And sense. the average yeah, ticket goes up. That's true. I think that's true. And you're also not paying at that instant with cash out of your pocket. Yeah, it's like it never happened. It's like it never happened. It's all yeah, virtual. But this will be key in expanding those capabilities, all of its global license stores, which don't necessarily have mobile order and pay and order ahead and, and pick oh. up, which is a really growing part of and their business. And one thing when I, when I or maybe others see this headline and you immediately wonder is, are they doing this to displace baristas and, and workers? But you're, everything you're describing is about a different way of integrating technology, right? It's a, it's a flywheel, right? It's, it's part of their strategy. I think that's one growing way that people are ordering, but you still need baristas to make all you your drinks there to make them. and yeah. in quarters past they've talked about um, having baristas do some of the more menial tasks that take up time uh, after hours so they can interact with you more face to face and that's helping drive foot traffic in stores so they don't seem to want to get rid of people they want to enhance your experience from everything they say.